Hey, good morning, guys. So it's uh, Saturday. Got called out this morning to a uh, dual temp case running warm. <clears throat> um, got the on call this weekend. So we're going to go see what's going on with this case. Possibly the wreck. So see you guys when we get there. Guys, this is our case for today. Uh, BA01, and call says that it's running warm. I see it running 13 degrees, and it's supposed to be set for medium temp. So this does not look like low temp product. Man, 13 degrees. All right, we know it can pull down a temp. That's not an issue. Got a little bit of frost up here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and go to the rack real quick. All right, guys. So we're here. Um, where's AP01 right here? We are for refrigerated, not frozen, refrigerated. And this is why we're running so low. So whenever the monitoring company gets an alarm, they generally put in an override. So they have it overwritten for 38 degrees, set point is 34, and that's why the refrigeration is calling 100% open. But let's go ahead and remove this uh, override, and it'll show us that we are at 13 degrees already. So you see that EPR just shut off. It alarmed at 44 degrees. So we still have to figure out why at a high temp. Hey right, guys, we're back at the case. Nothing too suspicious going on. Got a really frosted up line. That just means that we were running really, really cold earlier. Coil's not frosted up. All of our fans are running. I'm gonna go ahead and check super heat on this thing, see what's going on with the valve. Hopefully we don't have a blocked up strainer or something. So let me go ahead and hook up. We'll get right back to you guys. All right guys, I got my probes hooked up. Um, I shut my refrigeration hand valve so I can get this temperature up. So we're reading about 42 degrees. So right now my um, EPR should be open all the way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and um, hold on, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, this way, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna check superheat. I'll post a screenshot of what the superheat looks like. Just give me a few seconds. All right guys, drop 10 pretty quick. Uh, we're coming back up and got down to like 28 degrees um these dual temp cases man i th i think that most of the settings are set for the low temp act funny at times and i'm i'm only uh eight months into rex so yeah i still got a lot to learn man a lot to learn so let me go ahead and button this up and uh, go back out to the uh controller i want to show you something real quick <clears throat> so this is our dual temp case and if you see our set point our set point for low temp is 28 and medium temp is 34. so with this set point 28 we should not even be running a negative five degree um saturation temp that's just way too low i'm gonna see if we can't change that um, not necessarily here, but let me see if I can get you guys over to the page where I want to be at. Hold on. So right here. Uh, let me get it. So right here on the value. Maximum's 100%. We should be able to adjust that less, but before I even 
consider that I'm going to make a phone call because we have been here for this exact case plenty of times since October. Eh, plenty of times means about three different times. So we were here in October, November, and December. Um, so, yeah, let me make a phone call real quick. See if, uh, let me bounce my ideas off of one of the senior techs and then we'll see what he wants me to do. All right, guys. So we're back at the case here. Uh, we're running about 38 degrees. So this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I got a hold of my, uh, co-worker that's really smart and it, We've done this in the past, however, I just I just can't do it without his uh, authority. So essentially what's happening is that this valve right here, let me see if they put the right power head on there. Yeah, they did. The EPR is opening up 100%, which is essentially making this valve appear way small. So what we're gonna do is Right now, I have the EPR overwritten to about 37%, which somehow that we've done in the past seems to be the magic number. Um, so we have it overwritten to about 37%, and um, I have the hand valve closed right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that hand valve and I'm gonna check my saturated suction temperature. As long as we can maintain about 20 to 22 degrees, we should be money. That's just the problem that the EPR is opening up way too much. And uh, it's making our valve appear a lot smaller than it is. And it's it says, like I showed you earlier, 44 superheat or something. And in reality, it's not starving. So we're gonna go ahead and try with this. All right, guys, we're at 13 PSI. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this screen out just to verify it's not plugged up since the last time somebody was out here. So, you're very young. So at 13 PSI, you could you could do this live. You'll get a little bit of vapor, but some idiot messed up this thread we'll be in a world of hurt we got the hand valve shut off so we're not gonna have any liquid coming up we just plug that up so there we go <laughs> yep she's completely plugged up guys you, you can't see any light through it and I don't have an extra one. So I'm going to have to put this back, go to my van, grab one, and then come back and change it out. So let me go ahead and do that. I usually have one in my bag. I just don't know where it is. New screen. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind is that a lot of these screens are, are different lengths. Some are shorter, some are longer. So just make sure you get one the exact same size. And if this one doesn't fit, because uh, I didn't have the other one to compare it to, I brought some uh, degreaser and a rag so you, we can clean this one out. So uh, let me get set up and we'll take this out. Take this one out the bag first. in case it fits. And we're still at about 13 PSI, so it's not so damn difficult. Right here with my finger on the damn thing. 
Yep, they're exactly the same. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new one in. And I'll show you guys the old one. Somebody jacked up this thread already. Completely plugged. So now we can do a proper diagnosis. I can't see any light through it whatsoever. <laughs> All right, now let's do a proper diagnosis. Okay, right, guys. So I've been going back and forth between the case and the controller. So pretty much what we're doing is um, we're trying to set the EPR to maintain about 20 to 22 degrees saturated. you know on the suction side and then we can set our superheat but I've uh, been tweaking the uh, EPR valve until I'm now I'm getting about a 20 about a 20 degree saturated so now I'm gonna go ahead and start adjusting superheat so let me show you what I got on the uh, measure quick app right now Just start adjusting superheat and uh, we'll monitor it from there. All right, guys, I've been messing with this uh, EPR valve, and uh, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the uh, maximum operating or the maximum opening percentage right here. We're gonna change that to 16%, and this one we'll just change to 16 as well. So then that way. Um, the EPR does not open up more than 16% because if it does, it'll drop our saturation too much and uh, our valve will appear smaller and our case will not drop to temp. It's, it struggles after defrost. So, so we're just going to set it at 16%. That seems to be the, the number it's uh, liking right now that's maintaining about 20, 22 saturated. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and then uh, verify that our changes took place. Uh, right there, 16%, 16%. So then we're gonna go over here, remove our override. No, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So now our refrigeration valve right here will only open up to 16%. And that'll maintain our uh, uh, that'll maintain our saturated temperature. So let's go back and double check at the case. All right, guys. So we are complete here. We got the superheat to about seven eight degrees, which is perfect. We got our saturated temperature to about 21, 22, whatever it was on that last picture I showed, and. Uh, definitely running at temp so this turned out to be a little more uh, technical than I imagined anyways guys that's just the way wrap refrigeration goes hey guys so um, just left this uh, this call um, I I happened to make a couple more phone calls right before I left um, since since this is a callback like the third time it's been called back um, I wanted to make sure that I got everything right so everything that I did right now was good to go but I think that we're gonna s not complete the call today I'll probably be back sometime Monday and um, I'm gonna verify everything uh, I was talking to a co-worker he thinks maybe that TXV is a little bit too big 
for for the, uh, the amount of BTUs that that case is, you know, starting to get a little more on the on the technical engineering stuff that I'm not necessarily great at. But uh, we'll probably be back Monday if um, if we do have to do more stuff to it. I'll see if I can make a video. But for now, guys, that'll be it. I'm actually on my way to another another call uh, this Sunday. Uh, today, Saturday, sorry. And uh, it appears that a Rex probably struggling to keep uh, a couple of cases in ten. So I'll I'll see if I can't uh, make a video on that. But for this video, guys, that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, give it a like and a subscribe if you uh, enjoy the content. And uh, we'll see you on the next call, which is my next call.